hello in this video today we are learning how to model the vessel public landmark inside of sketchup this was designed by heatherwick studios and is located across the hudson river in manhattan so let's take a look at how we can model this inside of sketchup let's go okay so open up the meters template and then go to draw then shapes and then click on polygon after that change the number of sides to 24 and press enter and then draw a polygon of radius 15 meters like this after that delete this face in the middle and select every four but you can see this is like a whole curve so right click on this and click on explode curve after that select every fourth segment of this curve and you can add to your selection by holding down the control key and when you have six segments selected like this use the move tool and move them up by 2.5 meters like this then select this hole and then make a copy of it and flip it along the blue axis and then move it back down like this and then select both of these and now we are making seven copies so make copy of it like this and then type seven x on the keyboard to make seven copies like this after that select all of them and make it a group now right click on this and add an ffd to it so we are adding three by three ffd it is like a lattice group that adds various control points to the whole geometry so if you double click on any ffd and then you can see these points and these points will help us control the shape of the geometry that we are grouped so let's scale the bottom point so select these points at the bottom and then press scale and then hit control on your keyboard and then scale it 2.5 like this then select the points in the middle and then scale them to 1.5 like this then select these points at the top and then scale them to 1.2 like this now you can delete this ffd group like this and you have a geometry that looks like this now turn on parallel projection and then go to front view like this and make a copy of it for let's say 50 meters like this now we have two groups so select both and explode them and now we need to like delete every alternate row so hold on control to add it to your selection and then press delete and then group it like this now for this one select the ones that we left on the other group so select these that lie directly in front of these hit delete and then select these and make it a group now we can just move it back by 50 meters to move it back in place like this now we need to give some thickness to these so select any group and you can use the vertex tool plugin and hold on the control key and then type 0.5 to give it a 0.5 thickness and similarly for this one 5 now if you don't have the vertex tool you can use the extrusion tools plugin so if you undo a couple of steps and bring on the extrusion tools so edit any group select all the edges and then click on extrude edges by vector and then simply click and drag in the blue direction and type 0 0.5 and then press enter a couple of times and then 
press escape and click on yes and yes now similarly for this group select all click on extrude edges by vector and like this and yes and yes now we have these surfaces that are in the shape of the vessel so we can close this group now we just need to give these some thickness so we can use the joint push pull plugin i have a shortcut shift plus p for that so give it a thickness of three meters like this and for the other one a thickness of minus three like this Select both of them and turn on soften smooth edges like this. Now to make the railings for this, edit this group and then select these edges. Then hit Ctrl N on your keyboard to select the whole loop and simply copy them and paste them outside the group in the same place and make it a group. Then select all and then simply extrude these by a meter, let's say. Then simply reverse these faces and let's also give it some material. So let's give it a glass material. This now similarly for the one on the inside select these edges select the whole loop copy them and then paste them outside the group and make it a group and then simply edit this group and extrude it by a meter like this and then give it a glass material like this and we can also union these so bring on solid tools and click on this tool that says union and that would join these two groups and now if we turn off the axes and turn on the shadows this is how you model the vessel by Heatherwick Studios inside of SketchUp so if you learned something new in this video please consider subscribing if you have any doubts you can leave that in the discord server or in the comments till then keep creating and I would see you in the next video bye